In this video, I'll be discussing what it's like working a ski season. I'll be examining the pros and cons, so join me and the ski travel community, won't you? Hi everyone, I'm Matt. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first time on the channel, I work within the travel industry and I've done ski seasons in France, Austria and Japan. And today's video is about examining the advantages and the disadvantages of doing a ski season. So if you're already looking ahead to next winter and there's something you're thinking about, then you want to keep watching this video. Let's dive in. So I want to start with the positives. Firstly, you're in a ski resort. The mountains are your home for the winter. The ski slopes are your backyard and you get to go outside and play in them every single day of the week, pretty much. You're always on a ski holiday. You're looking at the chalet owners, the business owners, and thinking how great it would be to live out there for the season. And as a ski seasonaire, you can. Another positive is just how much ski time you will have. Your friends and family that you've skied with before are instantly going to become jealous of you. You will find yourself skiing a minimum of four times a week. And if you work as an instructor, you can bump that up to six or even seven days a week because the slopes are in fact your office. One thing I can guarantee as the season progresses and the more time you spend on that mountain, you will see the mountain in a completely different light and appreciate the amazing opportunity that you have. Thirdly, it's a new experience. Joining the Season Air community is one of the most memorable things you will do in your lifetime. Make no mistake, you will find yourself out of your comfort zone and facing challenges that you will not face anywhere else in the world. But it's a fantastic opportunity for self-improvement, to learn about life, people, and ultimately yourself. Moving on, you're gonna be enjoying a lot of partying during a ski season. Whether you are a social animal or someone who likes to keep to themselves, if you're not taking advantage of the Apre ski that's on every single evening, the chances are that someone will be having a little bit of a gathering, a get together with games and music and the optional drinking. If you live in a larger ski resort, there's a possibility that you're gonna to get to see a concert or even a DJ set. And the most enjoyable aspect out of all of this is that you're gonna make some friends along the way. Back to skiing and snowboarding for one moment. What better way to learn, practice, and improve your turns by doing a ski season? Working in a ski resort allows you to enjoy every kilometer available to you. And the more you hit the slopes, the better you will become. Finally, an advantage of doing a ski season is that you get to work in a different country. Many people dream of traveling and often the way to do that is by getting a job. So whether you are doing a full ski season or picking up jobs as you go along the way, it's a superb opportunity to immerse yourself in a different culture. And who knows, maybe even pick up a little bit of foreign lingo along the way. Tango, come say hello to the vlog. Look. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on to the negatives and the first one being that the wages are not high. Particularly at the start of the season, you have to wait a very long time for that first payday. And it's important that you set yourself an allowance. There are a lot of costs that you have to think of. The obvious ones being food and drink, but you also need to consider things such as ski passes, equipment, tuition, and accommodation. Contrary to belief, these are not free. Following on from this, be warned that you will not be living in some glamorous ski chalet with ensuite. Now there are a number of different types of staff accommodations of which I will be doing a video on in the future. But be prepared that where you will be staying is likely gonna be small in size with basic washing and cooking facilities. The chances are high that you'll be sharing with someone and for all kinds of reasons, be prepared for a lot of noise. Next, you should know that working a ski season is not all fun and parties. Having a job provides you with the means to be in the mountains, but you are expected to work. You will often find that the work is intense and you'll be doing long and late hours. Furthermore, you will always have uh, an upset customer that finds you, and at times you will have had enough. To be frank, it's exhausting, but you need to remember that it's important to stay professional and mature. And if you're part of a team, do not be afraid to ask for help or tell someone that you're struggling. 
Fourth, while it's great that you're in a ski resort and no doubt you're there because you love the mountains, there will be a number of things that you will not get to enjoy. You will miss key events like Christmas and New Year with the family, birthdays, anniversaries. If you're in a relationship and your other half is at home, this will be quite challenging on your relationship. So perhaps it's worth considering doing a ski season together. I can guarantee you that you will get homesick while you are out doing a ski season. If this sounds too much, then perhaps it's worth considering the length of your ski season. Perhaps coming out and getting a job after the Christmas and New Year period is an option. Finally, season air flab. All those beers and pizzas have to go somewhere. It's not guaranteed that it happens to everyone, but I always tend to come back from a season a couple of kilos heavier. I'm on a bit of a detox and a diet right now, and usually what you'll find is after a couple of weeks of being at home with some balance to your diet and some regular exercise, everything will go away. But as I'm saying, yes, it does happen. So after hearing all of that, my question of the day is, do you wanna do a ski season? I wanna connect with you guys in the comments section below. So let me know if you have any questions or any points. We have some amazing seasoners that follow and watch these videos, and they'd be more than happy also to give you any advice and share some of their best tips. So thank you for watching today's video, guys. Please subscribe for more content. And if you want to know how to find ski season jobs, then click on this video here where I cover where the best places are to look and much more. If you have any feedback or any future videos that you'd like to see, please put them in the comment section below. But until then, guys, please keep looking after yourself and I will see you next time.